it's me and I'm coming to you with day 19 of 30 inks 30 days. Before we get into our 30 inks 30 days stuff, I wanted to go through my little writing project real fast. I'm definitely not caught up at all, but I kind of wanted to show you what I was doing so I can stay on track. <laughs> so here is, I'll just flip through, here's uh, day one, the um, Suki Gokuro. What I'm doing is at the bottom I put the pen and ink that I'm using. I do that all the time because I'm doing... There's all kinds of inks here, but yeah. Here's the Jade Purple Rabbit. Here's Wearing Gold Metamorphosis. Here is uh, Van Diemen's Kookaburra Crest. Zari Gokuro. Uh, Twelfth Night. Uptown Jade. I So far, this is my favorite combination. I did this with the... Actually, I think I have the pen here. Um, with the um, Pelican uh turquoise white with the fine nib this is this has just been this has been my favorite that i've like actually like fully written with so far um i also really love this one but i need to get this ink out of the pen because it's a shimmer and i don't want shimmers in my pelicans um i really love this one this is this was uh ferris will press queen allium we have sarah or yurameku kokoro guma um and then here's where i have to fill in so what i've been doing is because I am, I'm like nine days behind, I've been writing at the bottom the pen and ink, that way I know which one I have, and then I've just been like putting them all in here, and then as I get time, I will pull one out and then start my page. So I have uh, Honey Bee Eater Breast, Anna, uh, Anna's Hummingbird Face, Mandarin Duck Wing, a Soft Kitty Warm Kitty by Rob Roster, White Rabbit, which honestly, I think it's not gonna be so bad on this paper. As long as I like prime the feet, I think we might be good. Like we even get some of that gray, like dual shading sort of stuff in here. This is, I thought this wasn't Tomo River paper, but I, when I was looking for on their website, I think it might actually be like 68 gram Tomo River paper, but it's really thick. So I thought it wasn't. Anyway, King Lear, a lot of questions about King Lear. The shimmer is like basically non-existent in the writing, but I do see it very subtly in the splats. We were, there was some discussion about the shimmer, if it like rubs off, and it does rub off on my finger, but there's still some that stays there. So it's a little, I call it eyeshadowy because it comes off like an eyeshadow, um, but yeah. So say I don't see a lot of transfer to the page before, so that that's good. But maybe because it's so subtle, it doesn't do that so much. Then we'll have Pride and Prejudice. I'm very excited to do this page. Yurameku Date Gokuro from uh, the from yesterday, and then I have I'm filming this on the 18th, so from day 16, and then I'm sorry, day 17, and then day 18, and then well, whatever our ink of the day today is, we'll go here. So. Looking forward to doing some writing, um, excuse me, probably not tonight, the night that I'm recording this, but um, over the rest of the week and over the weekend and catching up. I'd really like to be caught up before we get to the end because I don't want to have to end up writing the whole rest of the month because then it'll never happen. But yeah, I thought you'd be interested in that. Not, not too much of an update, but a little bit of an update. So okay, let's move on. Day 19, we're picking our ink. I might have to go grab a pen because I only have, like I said, I only have these three pens sitting here right now and I'm saving this one for a specific ink. I'll talk about it more then. Um, and then, yeah, these are both, yeah, they're all pretty big nibs. None of them are fine nibs. So if I get an ink that I think needs a finer nib, I might have to go grab a different pen. So let's see. Let's see, what do I want? What do I want? What are we feeling? 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 How about this one? I don't know what it is, but we'll see. Okay. We'll put this away and then I'll find out what ink we have. Oh, good. We have Wearing Gold Jane Eyre, which is actually one of the two inks that I wanted to put in this pen. So we'll go ahead and put this in this pen. This is a Platinum 3776. It's in the white, and I'm not even going to try to say it because I will mispronounce it. Um, but this pen has a 
coarse nib, which is essentially a double broad, and I'm very excited about it. That is um, a nib that I've been wanting to try. This is the only like smooth 3776 that I have, um, which has, is one that I've been wanting to get in my collection. Um, so that's exciting. Um, and the coarse nib is one that I wanted to try. The other nib that I want to try from Platinum is a, um, did I say this was a Pelican? That just popped in my head. It's a Platinum 3776, if I misspoke earlier, um, with the coarse nib, which is essentially a double broad. And, um, yeah, it's one that I've been really wanting. And I ended up getting this from, um, Skydye Inc. on Instagram. She was uh, de-stashing some pens, and this was a decent price and the, a nib that I wanted to try. So I contacted her, and it was available, and she sent it with a bunch of stickers and um, some ink samples. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. So thank you. Thank you for a lovely purchase. <laughs> um, well, hold on. My computer is about to... Okay. Um, yeah, so one of the inks, I wanted to use this one. And there's a different ink in there that I would have I would have used either or on this ink. So I'm very excited that we get to use this. I've been looking forward to this. Um, I actually already purchased a bottle of it but because I had the sample in the box. Um, I decided to keep going with it. So use up my ink flight sample, which is exciting. Um, yeah. So Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre. It's a beautiful, like pale purple color. I'm looking forward to using it in this pen. We'll see how it is. Let's go ahead and ink our pen. Do I have to get my miser for this too? I might have to. It looks like I'm going to have to. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me go get my ink miser. Okay. I don't know why I don't just leave this thing at my desk. Well, I know why. I, I cleaned it. So the reason this thing is so good is because it gives you the cone of ink instead of just like the flat ink sample. So it's easier to fill. In case you were wondering. It's easier to fill because the ink surrounds everything. I'm going to try. I got a really good fill, but not. I had the things tipped the wrong way, so it didn't get as full of a fill. I was worried about staining, which is why I wanted to try this with a pale ink first. So, here we go. No staining. I was worried like a red or... A darker color would stain it. So I wanted to go with a lighter ink. Plus I think the shading on this is going to be super great. Let's go ahead and suck our ink back out. Put that on the table though. Okay, now we're ready with our syringe as well. All that production. All that production. Okay, let's get. Oh, I'm so surrounded by ink now. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, oh, this is going to be so intense. I'm looking forward to getting this. Maybe I'll have to pull out my platinum nibs for the for the rest of the week as comparisons. I kind of want to do a writing sample. I don't know if anybody would care though, or at least care enough to have it in a 30 inch video. If you'd like to see um, a writing sample comparison between all the platinum nibs that I have, which is a um, 
I have a fine, a medium, a broad. <coughs> and now this coarse nib. Um, if you'd be interested in seeing um, writing samples of each nib size, let me know and maybe we can mark that out. I'm sure that somebody out there is interested. Jane, Google, looks messy, but Jane, Jane Eyre. Let that dry and do its thing a little bit. I'm very excited to get to use this ink, especially since I got a whole bottle of it without even using it. <laughs> I'm trying to like stay out of the light if I can, but there's only so much I can do, so okay. Day 19, the ink is wearing go. Jane Eyre. The pen is a platinum. 3776, it's the white one, but I'm just gonna put a C for coarse nib. Lovely, lovely shading. Beautiful, beautiful. The shading on this is really nice. The base color reminds me a lot of the Queen Allium that we had. Not that long ago. It's like a similar base color. Maybe not. Maybe it's a little different. This might be a little cooler, a little bluer, perhaps? It's really hard to see, I know. Let's see if I do this. I'm trying not to, like, mess up the splats. This one might be a little bluer. But they're very similar, except this one doesn't have uh, shimmer in it. So, lovely. I really dig the shading on this. Really, oops. Really, really, really dig the shading on this. Okay, back to our weeks. Zoom, oops, too far zoom. Got the zooming zoomies. Extra L. Jane. I spelled Jane Eyre wrong. Great. It's a coarse nib. I'm do reverse writing. Even the reverse writing is pretty thick. Which I suppose is to be expected because it's such a giant nib. Look at that. So much tipping material. Yeah, I think I probably will end up doing like just a quick little like nib comparison between all of the platinum nibs that I have. Um, all the platinum like 3776 nibs, I mean. Um, yeah, and then we'll do our... Our big swatch here. Wow. 
lovely. Lovely. I'm very much going to enjoy uh, using this ink today. So yeah, that's our ink. That's our ink. Which paper do I prefer it on? Um, it does look a lot warmer on the cream paper, but I really like it on both. I really like this nib. I love, love, love the shading. I can't wait for that spot to dry. It's gonna be so pretty. Um, but yeah, I think it's really lovely. I'm excited. Awesome. I love it. I love it. I'm very excited to use this today. And um, yeah, let me know what your ink. Have you used Jane Eyre? Have you used a coarse nib? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know your experiences. I, um, yeah, can't wait to hear from you. All right, I will see you tomorrow with day 20 of 30 inks, 30 days. How are we already at the 20th day? How? How? I can't believe it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Love you all.